Traveling to different cities and towns within the United States creates memories that last a lifetime. Smaller cities within the United States are creating initiatives to ensure travelers enjoy their time within their towns. Travelers represent to cities what mother-in-laws or grandparents represent to families. It's a chance to show off just how good things are. We like to put our best foot forward, just like we clean the house when mama's coming to visit. But in addition, travelers are like that automatic update that our computers go through when we turn them back on. They let us know what's the latest as far as technology needs in hotels. They let us know what they like to do for entertainment, what types of food are popular. Uh, so it's our chance to reconnect with the outside world no matter how well we think we've been doing things beforehand. For any visitor, what they're looking for when they're traveling or going somewhere else other than where they're living is a new experience. And so historically, that's always been new shopping opportunities, new culinary experiences, entertainment. But more and more lately, people are looking for arts and cultural experiences. And so really, a lot of things like public art, art spaces, ways to take in and consume art. That includes live music events, those sorts of things that they're not going to necessarily see or get where they're living. Even if it provides those things, it's a different experience. And so a lot of times communities are really coming together then to provide those experiences. By developing a story, cities can grow who they are and their city. When a cooperative group can come together with a variety of resources, skills and expertise, it enhances a community's sense of identity and story. I think it's really important for a community to have a story because it ends up being the message that goes out to the rest of the world about who the community is, what they believe in, um, what their values are. And so that story really becomes the marketing material for that community, whether it's attracting visitors or attracting people to come live and grow and play in the community. It's also important within the community to have this collective story that tells them who they are. It kind of offers this feeling of belonging and it creates a civic pride within a community. When you're proud and you feel like you're connected and you belong in a community, then it becomes a place that you want to improve upon. There are four legs of development in a city. There's city government, business and industry, social support agencies and philanthropy, and the everyday citizen. Each one of these legs has its own unique attributes and talents. It has access to capital, access to different types of capital. Each works at its own speed, and each knows what it wants to achieve as a sign of success. When a community gets together and agrees on priorities and policy, all four of these legs can work together. What we've done in Salina over the last 20 years is proved that what would appear on the surface to be very different types of organizations can all achieve their goals if they are working together. We don't compete with private business. We don't build and operate brick and mortar businesses but we like to facilitate those so that our community development is enhanced. When a city works together to enhance its community, it not only attracts visitors, but most importantly, makes the community better for its citizenry.